What is FOMO? FOMO is anxiety that an existing or interesting event may currently be happening elsewhere, often aroused by posts seen on social media. More specifically, in video games, this is something that a lot of developers have been doing by game design choice, and as it's put online, it is a form of psychological manipulation that plays a pivotal role in influencing player behavior and fostering continuous engagement. Throughout the last decade, we have seen many different video games utilize this tactic in their games such as Fortnite, Apex Legends, and even our own Dead by Daylight. These all come in forms of limited time skins that never return or rifts that we've seen where items take forever to return, and sometimes even cosmetics that are in events where you have to grind out in order to get them, and if you miss that window, you have to wait until the next year in order to get them. There are tons of articles online debating if FOMO is a good or bad strategy for video games, and as for Dead by Daylight, this also has been an ongoing debate if FOMO should or shouldn't be a thing. We've had times where people said it could be good. All of the proceeds and money that they make will help the developer team expand and give us more content. And then we have the other side that's arguing that it's more of a predatory tactic and this shouldn't be in DBD whatsoever. As for me and my personal opinion, I'm not here to either pick and choose sides. I'm not here to convince you on either side as well. That's a whole different debate in itself. More so what I want to focus on in this video is the hypocrisy that Dead by Daylight has put forth when it comes down to FOMO and them specifically saying they're not going to use it and then they proceed to do pretty much the same thing. In order for us to digest all of this, we need to take it all the way back. On Twitter, I asked a pretty broad question, asking the community if they had an opportunity to ask the developers one specific question, what would it be? And this was more so tailored for my interview with Matthew Cote that I do annually in order to get some questions to ask him. Dead by Daylight, they basically saw this, they asked me if they could answer some of the questions, and I was fine and dandy with that. But here is where some of the trouble begins. Someone in the comments basically said, could we possibly see a reworked devotion system? Are there plans to add more prestige rewards? What is the possibility of getting another MISC player specific cosmetics? Can we pretty please with a sugar on top get a legendary Matthew Cote skin as Dwight? Pretty straightforward question, pretty standard, and this is what Dead by Daylight replied with. On Prestige at least, that's always a tough choice. It'd be really cool to have a fancy reward for hitting Prestige 100, but at the same time, that's an insane amount of progress and we don't want people to feel like they're missing out on hitting it. Prestige is ultimately meant to be a goal for people who have already done everything else, so we don't want to lock too much content behind it. Now this set off alarms for everybody, the community was on fire, and rightfully so because prior to this, Dead by Daylight have done tons of things that pretty much induced FOMO. We have the Rift that has limited time cosmetics, we have shop items that are there and potentially never return, and many, many, many more cases. I can go on for days about the FOMO tactics that they've used in the game. Now again, I'm not basically here to say that them utilizing FOMO is a good or bad thing, I'm just here to point out the facts. And that fact being, they've definitely used tons of FOMO tactic in the past, and pretty much they're blaming FOMO for not introducing Prestige 100 rewards, which the community was like, yeah, that doesn't make sense. Regardless, the way I took it was that, you know what, maybe they're putting their foot down and they're drawing the line. Maybe this is when they're going to change. We obviously know that they promise that every cosmetic that you see in the Rift will eventually return. They've also said that event items, whenever they're there, they'll probably return if they're annuals. So for me, in my mind, I figured this is where they are officially drawing the line. They are going to make these changes so that everyone will always be included, and that's fine, that's great, everybody can be included in pretty much everything. Lovely. Unfortunately for us, that necessarily wasn't the case. One of the things that we've recently seen is that if you purchase any Oryxel pack, you get a free gift for a limited time cosmetic. Recently, we've seen the knight, in the past we've seen things like the candy weapon, and this is something that seems to be a recurring theme that they're going to continue to do more and more and more of. Not to mention the introduction of Twitch drops where you have to watch a specific streamer for a certain amount of time or else you're not able to get any of those cosmetics and much, much more. 
So I'm sure you already can figure out the point I'm trying to make. Dead by Daylight essentially said they're not doing prestige 100 rewards because of the FOMO issue, yet they do things that endorse FOMO. They've done things that endorse FOMO, and they probably will continue to do things that endorse FOMO. Now this really, really sucks. This is terrible. Not only are we not getting Prestige 100 rewards, it really just makes it look really, really bad on Dead by Daylight's part because either they're liars or everyone's just not on the same page. This would have been all fine and dandy if they basically came out and said, you know, very bluntly, Prestige 100 rewards, no one's hitting Prestige 100 at the moment, so there's no point in putting the time and effort into it. Or, if they want to be super transparent, at least the way it's sounding, and it really looks this way, they can't monetize these skins. There's no money to be made behind this, and for that reason, they don't want to spend the resources for it. Obviously, that is an extremely blunt statement, but I'm sure if they were fully honest, it would have been well more received than looking like hypocrites online to everybody. And this boils over into another point, and that is that I personally think that the team, they're just not on the same page. We've made this exact point when we spoke about MMR and how it potentially could ruin Dead by Daylight, essentially saying that the team internally, they're not on the same page. Some teams are balancing for casual play, some teams are balancing for competitive play, and it just seems that there's some sort of imbalance going on and debates going on internally, and they just don't know what the plan is moving forward. I think this might be another case of that. The person that is responsible for their socials might feel a certain way or maybe had discussions with their peers about what to say for this, and FOMO was their best response. And then the marketing team has something completely different in mind. Now that's fine. Obviously, other people can have different opinions. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But as a company, it breaks down trust within the community when you say one thing and then you do the exact opposite of what you just said. Now, I love Dead by Daylight. I'm a fog racer for Dead by Daylight. I've met all the devs. But this is something that they need to work on. This is something that they just need to get that tough criticism about. For a game company that's been out for eight years, this is no longer a company that's just your mom and pop shop where everyone can pretty much do anything. And if you make a mistake, it's just whatever, we'll move on. Unfortunately, Dead by Daylight's on another level now. With all of the big licenses they have, with all of the success and the ongoing success that they have, these kind of things cannot slip through the crack because it just makes the entire company as a whole look pretty bad. And this isn't the only example that we've seen of this as well. Just take for instance the recent event that we have. It was proposed to us that this is going to be the most blood points we're ever going to see in any event and the entire event is going to be focused around blood points. However, on the release of the events, there were so many issues with that, we're not even going to get into that. The major point being is that at maximum, you are still getting a smaller multiplier to these blood points than if five people decide to ram the anniversary cake during the anniversary event. And to me, those are just things that, again, can't slip through the crack. After eight years, they cannot be making these mistakes because it just leads to more and more and more fuel to that fire. And this is what also causes a lot of arguments in the community as well, because once again, one dev or one team might say a specific thing, whereas they do and show something else. And this will always cause heads to butt. I'm ranting on a little, but the point being is that these type of mistakes cannot keep going forward. Everybody needs to be on the same page. And again, I don't know what's going on internally or what's happening. To me, it seems that they're just not on the same page. And there's many examples of this. And they have to be unison as a company. They need to have one vision that they all can agree on. Or at least if they don't agree on it, if they have a vote on which side they want to take, whether that by deal is competitive or casual, whether they're going to do FOMO or not do FOMO, whether it's as simple as proofreading some of the things that they're saying on their streams or points that they're going to make to make sure it actually is the truth. These are all things that they need to at least be in unison on, have a vote, whichever side wins, take that side and stick on that stance. Obviously, in the future, they can change their minds, they can adjust, but you can't do one thing one day and then do the complete opposite the next day. As for Prestige 100 rewards as well, especially with so much people hitting Prestige 100 right now, 
it would be a great time to get some Prestige 100 rewards. I think that rewarding your players for putting that much time and effort into your game is a no-brainer, and you should reward those players for really pushing and grinding out DBD. This is a free reward that should always be obtainable, so it's not really FOMO, it's not going away, you just need to grind for it. That's it. When you compare that to things like the Rift or these limited time items in the shop when you buy Oryx cells or whatever the case may be, they're clearly on two different levels. Honestly though, I really think you're just gonna raise the prestige cap to like 250 or something like that and call it a day. I see no reason why they can't at least be a banner or a portrait that you can obtain for hitting Prestige 100. Something just to pretty much say thank you. You guys have done an extremely amazing job sinking so much time and energy into our game and this is our reward that you can show off to your friends. It doesn't necessarily need to be a cosmetic, just a banner, just a profile picture, whatever the case may be, something along the way. But moving forward, those are my two main points. They definitely need to be on the same page when it comes down to not just this, but everything, because as a company this long into the game, they can't keep making those type of mistakes. It just doesn't look good on their part. But that is my mini rant essentially over. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. It does help and comment what you feel about this entire situation. Make sure you guys are subscribing. We're trying to get to 150,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And last little plug, join our Discord, follow us on Twitch. We're going to be doing some giveaways over there very soon. As always, I'm the King. I tip my crown to you guys, and we'll see you in the fog.